Good day and welcome to Winning by Wisdom, Day 18, where we examine the book of Proverbs to gain insight and answer practical questions about situations you may be facing. Father God, thank you for the book of Proverbs. Give us understanding and knowledge in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have a few questions for you today. The first question is, what can haughtiness lead to? What can haughtiness lead to? The second question is, what does Proverbs teach about a man's gift? The third question is, how powerful is the tongue? And the fourth question is, what does Proverbs say about a wife? Okay, so we will read the scriptures and find the answer to these questions. Proverbs chapter 18, New King James Version. A man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. A fool has no delight in understanding, but in expressing his own heart. When the wicked comes, contempt comes also. And with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The wellspring of wisdom is a flowing brook. It is not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the inmost body. He who is slothful in his work is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and like a high wall in his own esteem. Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty and before honor is humility. He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. The spirit of a man will sustain him in sickness but who can bear a broken spirit? The heart of the prudent acquires knowledge and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. Casting lots causes contentions to cease and keeps the mighty apart. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city, and contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth, from the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man uses entreaties, but the rich answers roughly. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. That was Proverbs chapter 18. Let's go back to our questions that we asked at the beginning. The first question was, what can haughtiness lead to? And we find the answer in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12. Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty and before honor is humility. The second question what does Proverbs teach about a man's gift? We find the answer in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16. A man's gift 
makes room for him and brings him before great men. Our third question was, how powerful is the tongue? We find an answer in Proverbs 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. And lastly, our question for today, what does Proverbs say about a wife? We find the answer in Proverbs 18, 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Thank you for joining 31 Days of Proverbs. A complimentary resource has been made available to you. You can download my book titled Pray As You Go at no charge. It's available on iBooks and everywhere eBooks are available. Just use your favorite search engine and to pray as you go by Antoinette Thompson, click on one of the links and the complimentary download will be made available to you. This is Antoinette Thompson. Join us tomorrow for Winning by Wisdom. And remember that today is a good day. Enjoy your day, everyone.